Brazilian federal government has just announced a big PPP program concentrated in transportation projects like roads, ports, ferries and airports. This program is not the first Brazilian attempt to take off its infrastructure using PPPs. Last attempt was made in 2012 and resulted in a few concessions. From the list of changes needed in Brazil's PPP environment, we suggest particularly the use of least present value of revenues as a tender mechanism that could contribute to Brazilian PPP program success. Engel, Fischer and Galetovich were the proponents of the LPVR mechanism. LPVR is an auction mechanism where the firm that bids the least present value of revenues wins the franchise. The contract will endure enough time until the private partner receives back its present value of revenues. If demand proves to be higher than expected, the contract will finish earlier. However, if demand proves to be lower than expected, the contract would finish later. This mechanism decreases significantly the demand risk for the private partner once it transferred the risk to the public partner. However, LPVR does not increase the fiscal risk of the public partner because LPVR affects only the length of the contract and does not commit any disbursement from the public partner. Santiago Paraíso Highway was franchised in 1998 and became the first PPP tender to use LPVR mechanism. LPVR mechanism is gradually being perceived as an effective hedge guarantee for long-term contracts. In Colombia, such mechanism has been used jointly with other factors since 1995 and it's been introduced in a greater number of concessions more frequently. Adoption of LPVR mechanism in Brazil could bring several benefits. The first benefits would be the increased feasibility of projects as a result of diminished demand risk, especially greenfield projects with high demand risk. LPVR would also avoid the problem that has been present in previous Brazil concessions, to low tariffs by aggressive bidding and lots of renegotiations. This mechanism would be especially interesting to the concessions of roads and ferry highways. Brazil has not used LPVR despite the good experience of its South American neighbors. The Brazilian concession and PPP loss does not make it clear if it is this mechanism could be used. First, the Brazilian concession law restricts the allocation of demand risk to the private partner. Second, Brazilian PPP law explicitly lists the allow tendering mechanism and does not include the LPVR. Last but not least, Brazilian law requires fixed length of the contract, which is not the case of LPVR. Given this legal uncertainty regarding the use of LPVR in Brazil, it would be wiser to change the concessions and PPP laws before using it. Changing laws is difficult, but the benefits are worthwhile as we have seen in Chile and Colombia.